The uh, thank you, uh, General Whitaker. Do you agree with the President's statement that the Russian investigation is a witch hunt? As I mentioned previously, Congressman, I think it would be inappropriate for me to comment about an ongoing investigation. Well, you commented about the Roger Stone investigation, which is ongoing, did you not? Congressman, uh, just to be clear about you this. did comment on I, that. I mean, I, we I heard you it. comment I, on the Roger Stone investigation. Why would you comment on the Roger Stone investigation, but you are reluctant to answer our questions about the Mueller investigation? Well, that's a good question, Congressman. And my comments about the Roger Stone investigation were merely to acknowledge that I was aware that CNN had appeared to receive or was, well, you, was at the You don't the know whether or not the CNN reporter was camped out uh, with no advanced knowledge or whether or not he was tipped off or not. Isn't that Congressman, that is true, but I'm very right, well, concerned. Well, let me move on. Let, let me move. Hold on, sir. FBI I'm controlling is, the time. Let me move on. My simple question is, isn't it a fact that you received your final ethics guidance on that question on December 19, 2018? Congressman, we laid out very explicitly the process that we went through and ultimately the decision whether or not to recuse was my decision. Mr. Whitaker, you were asked the direct. That Mr. Whitaker, you were asked the direct question, and it's getting a little tiresome hearing you stall and wasting the member's time. The member only has five minutes. He, he asked you a specific question: Did you last receive advice on that on December 18th? The answer ought to be yes or no, or, or or some other date, or I don't remember. But you don't. We don't need a speech. The gentleman Mr. may repeat. Mr. Chairman, no, the gentleman may repeat. No, Mr. His Chairman. I mean, if we're going to if we're going to counsel the witness and act as his attorney on how he should answer, are you answering the question or is there a witness answering the question? I'm it's asking yes the witness no. not to stall. And we have endured that many times here when he's trying to ask the question in the way that he is asked. Point of order. Point of order. The, the gentleman is out of order. Mr. Johnson has the floor. No, no, so I, I want to make you said yes. So there are specific names. Two and a half months into the investigation, that Rod Rosenstein gave the special counsel specific American names to go investigate. Congressman, uh, as because you know, it, I mean, if that's the case, and it's, well, I, I hope you, I, I want to know yes or no. As I hope you, you know, answer. this is a, the subject of an ongoing investigation, and I, and I spoke to you generally about investigation. But I'm asking you a specific, or, or let, let me ask it this way: Can you give us assurances that there are not specific names under this 70 percent redacted? memo that, the spe that Rod Rosenstein sent to the special counsel. Congressman Jordan, uh, this, I know this is a And you know why I'm asking this, Mr. Mr. Attorney General? Because in this country, we don't investigate people, we investigate crimes. And if there are specific American citizens' names in this redacted, and I asked Mr. Rosenstein to see this, and he got all mad and huffy with me in his office and wouldn't show it to me. But I think the American people, if, if this alters changes and names of specific Americans, the scope of the investigation of the special counsel, don't you think it's appropriate for the American citizens to know the full parameters of an investigation into the guy they made president of the United uh, States? This is the first oversight hearing we have had in the Justice Department in almost 15 months. You did not have a confirmation hearing, and you have not yet appeared for an oversight hearing. Yes or no? Yes or no? Congresswoman, I am the acting Yes or no? General. Have you appeared before an oversight hearing in the Congress? Congresswoman, I have not. It has been 10 years before. Witness will answer the question as asked, please. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, if the, if the Department of Inquiry, if, the, if he has, feels that a yes or no is appropriate, he'll answer in a yes or no. If he does not feel it's appropriate, he should be able to answer it in the appropriate, as many Democrat administration officials have done before this committee before. This, the, uh, that is the, unreal. The member has only five minutes, and if she... If you know, we've just discovered that we have a five-minute she wants a yes or no answer, amazing. she's entitled to it. I will not allow the witness to stall and waste members' time. The Where were you when Mr. Lynch and Mr. Holder were here? A few moments later. Mr. Attorney General, we're not joking here. And your humor is not acceptable. Now, you are here because we have a constitutional duty to ask questions, and the Congress has the right to establish government rules. The rules are that you are here. So I need to ask the question, and I need to have my time restored so that you can behave appropriately. I will behave appropriately as a member of the Judiciary Committee. Uh, I'm asked a question. Did you have a confirmation hearing, and have you not yet appeared for an oversight hearing? Congresswoman, I am an acting attorney general. I have been appointed according to the Vacancies Reform Act. 
And I have never appeared in front of Congress for any hearing, even when I was United States Attorney. I'm asked for a yes or no answer. Is that? So you are denying the reports that you shared many one-on-one -on -one calls with President Trump and then his chief of staff, John Kelly? Are you denying that, yes or no? Congresswoman, as I've mentioned several times today in my opening statement and otherwise, yes or no. I'm not talking about the conversations that I've had with the President of the United States or his senior staff. Um, so that is a no? After you left office, you pursued a series of other political offices, one of which was the United States Senate. Yes or no, if during the pursuit of that office, a hostile foreign power contacted you, contacted you to offer dirt on your opponent, which at the same time uh, included uh, other uh, candidates such as Steve King and now Senator Joni Ernst, would you have contacted the FBI? Congresswoman, I, I, I'm not here to yes ask no? hypothetical questions, I, and I'm here for an oversight hearing. Uh, I don't believe, you know, I was very you unsuccessful in my Senate campaign. have the responsibility of answering the question. Would you have contacted the FBI if you were asked to take dirt on your opponents? Congresswoman, if I was contacted by a foreign national or a, or a foreign country when I was a candidate for the United States Senate, I would have most likely reached out to the FBI, but it didn't happen, so it's hard for me to answer your hypothetical With question. So all I'm asking you is, have you been asked to approve or disapprove a request or action to be taken by the special counsel. Point of order, Mr. Chairman. I've asked the question. Point of order, Mr. Chairman. Point of order is not in order until the question is answered. We're not operating under the five-minute rule anymore, then? The point of order, the witness will answer the question. How many times were you briefed about the special counsel's work, and when did the briefings take place? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I've said all that I'm planning on saying about the number of times or the briefings that I've received on the special counsel's investigation. It is the subject matter of an ongoing investigation. I think it would be very improper for me as I sit here today Wait a minute. to talk the, the, more about whether it. Whether you were briefed is the subject of an ongoing investigation? I didn't follow that. No, the number of times I've been briefed in my involvement in the investigation, sir. Well, it's our understanding that at least one briefing occurred in December before your decision not to recuse yourself on December 19th and Christmas Day. Is that correct? Uh, what's the basis for that question, sir? Uh, yes or no? Is it well, correct? I, I, I mean, I, I... It is our understanding that one, at least one briefing occurred between, between your decision not to recuse yourself on December 19th and six days later, Christmas Day. Is that correct? Simple enough question. Yes or no? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I, I, again, what is the basis for your question? You're saying that it is your sure, I'm, a, I'm asking the questions. I only have five minutes. So please answer yes or no. No, Mr. Chairman, I, I'm going to. I, I, I don't, I, I, you were asking me a question. It is your understanding. Can you tell me where you get the basis? No, I'm not going to tell you that. I don't have time to get into that. Well, I'm just asking you if, if that's correct or not. Is it correct? Were you briefed uh, but, uh, in that time period between December 19th and Christmas Day? Simple question, yes or no? Congressman, if, if, if every member here today um, asks questions based on their mere speculation, all right, uh, never and mind. I, and at any point, an actual basis yes, or, yes or no, at any, at yes question. or no, at any point since that briefing, have you communicated any information you learned in that briefing to President Trump? Mr. Chairman, I, I know that there is a uh, unique it's a yes or no special question, interest sir. in this. I'm it's sorry. It's a yes or no question. Have you communicated anything uh, you learned in that briefing to pre about the investigation to President Trump? Yes or no? Mr. Chairman, as I've said earlier today in my opening remarks, I do not intend today to talk about my private conversations with the President of the United States. But to answer your okay. question, I have not Any talked to the President of the United States about the special counsel's investigation. But you won't answer the question. I, I just did answer your question. I don't think you did, but let me just say this. Your iteration of the department's longstanding policy appears designed to delay answering these questions as long as possible. I find that unacceptable. I understand the role of executive privilege and respect its value in our system of governments, governance. However, Congress is a co-equal branch of government. We have a responsibility to conduct oversight. This is a responsibility we take very seriously. I've repeatedly tried to work with your office, first in delaying the hearing until February, and then in providing you our questions in advance. I did this because the executive branch's own rules governing assertion of privilege, which were issued by President Reagan 
and have been followed ever since, say that ultimately it is up to the president to decide whether or not he wants to assert executive privilege. You cannot repeat forever that the president might want to assert privilege. I've given you a fair opportunity to prepare for the hearing and to, and to speak with the White House in advance so that we could avoid this fight in the first place, but you don't appear to have done any of that. The department's failure to do its due diligence here, to me, is deeply troubling. I do not believe that issuing a subpoena here would correct the problem, but I'm going to give you the opportunity to rectify the situation. After today's hearing, we will attempt to reach an accommodation with the department to obtain answers to these questions. As part of that process, I ask for your commitment to return for a deposition before this committee in the, following, in the coming weeks, under oath, with an understanding that the transcript will be released to the public as soon as practicable thereafter. Any questions that are unanswered today or require consultation with the White House will be asked again at that proceeding, and I expect either a clean answer or a proper assertion of privilege claimed by the President. I would ask members on both sides of the aisle to make those questions clear for the record so we know what must be addressed at the future proceeding. Now, in your capacity as Acting Attorney General, have you ever been asked to approve any request or action to be taken by the Special Counsel? Mr. Chairman, uh, I see that your five minutes is up, and so um, <laughs> I'm... We, 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 I am here, I'm here voluntarily. I, we have agreed to five-minute rounds, and... The committee... I think that's a fine place to end the five-minute rule. The committee will end, will, 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 will come to order. I will point out that we didn't enforce the five-minute rule on, 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 on attorney, uh, Acting Attorney General Whitaker. We will... I understand, Mr. Chairman. I was just saying that might be a good breaking point at that well, point for you. No. Thank you. Mr. Whitaker, did your watchdog organization ever receive contributions from foreign donors? Mr. Chairman, point of order. I'd ask the gentleman, was, now, the gentleman will suspend. The gentleman will state his point of order. My point of order, and I'm going to go back to this, and would again undoubtedly the majority does not care. But this is outside the scope of this hearing. This was not while he was employed here, and whether he outside had donors or not during the time he was not employed, making no connection either way is not inside the scope of this hearing. And that's not the call of this committee. Now, and I, you know, look, I'm I'm outgunned over here. I have no votes. This is not part of the call of the hearing. Mr. Walker, there's plenty of things to do. And Ms. Cicilline, you well, can the gentleman call. Yield? Mr. Collins, if you no, want to no, sit no, down no, there no, with no. his lawyers, you can go sit gentleman, down there. But you're not his lawyer. The gentleman will suspend. And neither gentleman, are you, Mr. Swalwell. And if you ask questions that are actually part of this, instead of running for president down there, we could get this done. You can sit down there. There's room. Both gentlemen will suspend. Mr. Chairman. The gentleman has stated a point of order. The chair will rule the point of order is not well taken. The scope of people's questioning, we afford a wide latitude, and we don't even know where it's going at this point. Uh, the gentleman, so the, the gentleman's point of order is, is not well taken. The gentleman will, con, will, will resume. Appeal the ruling of the chair. The, the, the gentleman appealed the ruling of the chair. The gentlelady uh, moved to table. Move to table is not debatable. The clerk will call the roll on the motion to table. Mr. Chairman. Oh, let's see. Uh, Call the roll. Uh, all in favor of tabling the resolution, I'm sorry, all in favor of tabling the appeal of the ruling of the chair will say aye. 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 Nay. Nay. The ayes have it. The appeal of the, the, the motion is tabled. The gentleman will 